So let's move on now. Today's dish is presented by Stone Academy, and this is some pretty cute video. One Tennessee family visits the National Zoo. It's going viral after a pretty adorable encounter. Five-year-old Ian was so happy to see the bear exhibit, he started jumping for joy. Oh, oh my gosh. And look what happened. Look at that guy. That is crazy. Looks like a Pilates class. So sweet. Fortunately, there's glass in between them. I, I know. Well, we've had all these black bear sightings here in Connecticut, and now finally something cute that you can enjoy, I guess. They were going for 10 minutes. That's quite a workout there. Wow. So I'm sure a uh, happy little guy. That kind of reminds me of at Mystic Aquarium. Remember when the belugas, they were like right. laughing at the little kids there? It was so cute, so cute back here in Connecticut. Also, this is a pretty funny video here of a four-year-old boy that's going viral. You might have seen this on social media. So him and his father decided to pull off a bit of a prank when his mom returned home from a business trip, all right? So her name is Barbara Nielsen. She arrived at the airport in Arkansas, and uh, this is how they greeted her. Take a peek here. <laughs> Welcome home from prison, Mom. There it is. It's so funny. <laughs> I can see my family doing that. <laughs> So adorable. You can see it there. The photo was an enthusiastic Damon. There he is. Uh, this has been shared, Rye, more than 150,000 times in the past wow. couple of days. Pretty clever. And the mom had a good, was a good sport about it. That's true. Good <laughs> for her. You know, my, my mom retires this Friday, so maybe I'll make a sign for her like that. Enjoy your time in prison, Mom. Stay out of prison. Yeah, stay or out of prison, perhaps. Mom. I don't know. Something like that. So, so cute there. Hey, one teenager in North Carolina has quite the fish story to tell. You know how sometimes they say, oh, it was this big, and then it, it all of a sudden just gets nope, bigger and bigger. This is legitimate, though. Okay, let's see. Oh, my goodness. It's a 400 pound marlin. My goodness. And he was, what, 16? Yeah. 16 year old. Crazy. Yeah, uh, it took him quite some time to, to reel this in, about 45 minutes. Quite a workout. Uh, but way to go. It's yeah. the first known junior angler to bring home a marlin like yeah, this. That big, 400 pounds. Uh, EJ is the first known uh, to do it, and I'm sure he'll be making a lot of money in the future if he's able to keep that Maybe up. Maybe he'll have a show. Yeah, <laughs> and I know our, our buddy Chef John Brennan, he was just down in like uh, Cuba. Cuba and Key Largo, and, and he oh. went fishing. I don't know if he caught marlin or some crazy fish. We'll, we'll ask him about it. Chat with him about that. All right, so giving birth is a big deal, but it might even be more special when you do it alongside a sibling who's going through the same thing, right? What are the chances here? Happened to two sisters in Georgia. Get this, Mara and Jennifer went into labor on the same day last week. Look at those cuties. Oh, so, so nice. They both gave birth uh, nearly at the same time, and <laughs> Mara had the baby girl named Anna Grace, and Jennifer had a baby boy oh. named Marco. <laughs> and the sisters say they hope uh, the twin cousins will now share a special bond. Uh, that'll be quite the birthday. They're going to be huh? like best friends, those cousins, huh? Two best friends anyone could have right there. So cute. <laughs> All right, waiting in line for gas can be tiresome and boring at times, but some teenagers in Mississippi are trying to up the entertainment factor. With some dance moves. Mm. Let's take a peek. There they are. They're moving. <laughs> They're grooving. So they decided to do this, and, and the owner just kind of welcomes it now. So, so people are going to the gas station to see these guys bust a move. It's gone viral online, uh. Uh, and it's been shared thousands of times. Now, that's the, the floss, right? That, that that one move that we just saw. Can you do the, the, the floss? No, move? no, the... but I'm certain you can. No, I, I well, I'm sitting, so you can't really. It, it just yeah, looks a little a bit weird. Every chance you get to, to Dance, shake it, you do, right? Let's be honest. Meanwhile, what you can't see at home is everybody here in the studio is, is trying to do this while we're talking to you guys, <laughs> you know? All right, an eight-year-old girl from Nevada is on a very special mission. Yeah, this is so heartwarming. Haley Dawson uh, said she wanted to throw the first pitch at every major league park. Kind of ambitious, I'd yeah. say, too, right? But here's the kicker. Uh, she actually so has a 3D print, uh, printed and prosthetic hand. And you turn <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, and it's certainly not letting her stop her. There you go. Yesterday, she threw the first pitch in St. Louis at Bush Stadium for the Padres versus Cardinals game. Uh, her prosthetic arm is even cardinal themed. That is so, so cool. Good so for her. I hope she makes it around the, the whole country. Awesome stuff there. Now